Hi everyone, it's Timmy from Ivy Corrine. Um, we are here today, we are going to test all of the little vials that we got from Sopalooza. So, these are them, it's about a milliliter fragrance. So we're just doing these little test cups, and I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go. Oh, thank you, Gloves. Um, I've never done this many sample tests, so there's 32 of them. Um, so, it's going to take a little doing. And this might be a longer video, but I will get through it as quickly as possible. And uh, I'll call out the names if I can read them off the side of the cup, because I was writing quickly. Um, and then that way you'll know which ones they are and how they behave. And it might behave a little differently for you, because everybody's soap recipe is different. So, you know, if you want to do your own testing, by all means. But I thought this way we could at least get an idea. And then I'll know exactly what it smells like once it's turned into soap. Because sometimes there's fragrance oils that smell one way out of the bottle. Like there's one of them in here, I think it's called Honeybee. And I've been looking for a good honey, but um, I'm not really fond of the one in here. But I can smell the honey. It smells like true honey, but there's something on top of it I don't like. But in soap, it might change. A lot of times what you smell out of the bottle is not what you actually will smell in the soap. So. We're just going to do some testing here, see what we like, see what we don't, and then we can order what we like and skip what we don't. We don't get stuck with a bunch of big bottles of fragrances that we don't like. So, here we go. And these are just going to be uncolored um, tests. And like I said, I'm going to get through them as quickly as possible since there's so many of them. I don't want to waste time doing too much on them. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to pour um, the soap into a few cups while my husband pops the lids open on these uh, little vials and tosses them inside and then we'll stir them up and then when we're all done I'm going to stick them in the oven to process. I already got it on. He's checking up on me. You don't trust me. I thought I forgot to turn the oven on. I didn't tell you to. I did it. I was thinking ahead. It's like, mark it on the calendar. I was thinking ahead. <laughs> so this is exactly our soap recipe that we always use. Like, I have sodium lactate in here. Um, I have my kaolin clay in here. And this is our regular recipe because I want to see exactly what this does in my base recipe. All right. So this is not my normal scale, but my other one is on a cord have that one. I don't have a cord over here except for my stick blender, so or a plug, I should say. So we're just going to do these one at a time. I'm actually going to sit down so I can get a little closer to them. So here we go. If you want to start opening them as I go. And we'll tear that. Okay, yeah, see, once I see how full it is, then I can judge the rest of it. Okay, so it shouldn't be bad. Okay, we got our first one. This is rose milk, and this literally has to be the best rose I have ever smelt. I hate rose scents. I really do. Keep these separate right No, I'm just going to toss them. Um, but I literally hate rose scents, and I love Oh, and in the soap, it's even better. Smell that. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't smell old. No, it doesn't like, smell old at all, and it doesn't smell like, like just pure rose either. It doesn't smell like grandma's but it's, bathroom. But it definitely is. <laughs> it definitely is rose, and it did not seize. So, I mean, it may get thicker as it sits here, but it definitely didn't seize. So, yay. Okay. And then, you know what? Give me that little plate, and I'll just throw these on there. There we go. Is that going to drive you nuts? Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> start opening this one. Now, these did not leak when they got here, but I opened them all and I kind of broke the seal on them, so they are leaking a little bit. Well, so that's we why... several times, too. Yeah. Because I opened them before he got home from work, and then I opened them again so he could smell them. So, they're they're not sealed properly at the moment. Alright, this is Hua. It's supposed to be um, a men's fragrance, kind of outdoorsy. 
smells good. Not my favorite, but it's good. And see, this will also give us a test of does it discolor or does it stay good. This is our next one, white rose bergamot. And in case I missed it, it's uh, these are from Sopalooza, all of these. Thank you. That one smells like an orange and a rose. It's very pretty. I like that one a lot too. Because if you if you really despise rose scents, those are great because it, it the orange kind of knocks down the rose and I actually, the first thing I get is the orange and then I get a hint of rose. So that's very pretty. I like that a lot. It's not a very strong rose. It's like orange with a hint of rose. And that one isn't seasoned either. So, and my soap batter's a little warm right now. In fact, let me can I temper this and te test it? The Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, we're about at 85. So that's perfect for me. This is fresh picked strawberries. How oh, did I get soap on the back of my arm? Seriously. That's why you should wear long sleeves. Nice do as I say, mark. not as I do. <laughs> fine. And I'm doing for these about. 0.85 um, ounces and I figure that will give me a pretty good idea because it also strawberry I know strawberry this does not smell like strawberry candy this smells like well it's got a little candy I guess but it's not full-on strawberry candy it's it smells like a fresh picked strawberry it really does so this is one I'm kind of wondering if it'll discolor. Now none of these are going to have stabilizers or anything, so we're looking for color, ricing, so on and so forth, and then I'll just watch the video back and I'll know what it did. But that, that didn't do anything. Really nice so. It looks like it's out. getting a little darker than the other one, so that one might discolor a little. Alright, this is one I really like. It's called Grapefruit Cassis. It's very fresh. Slack in there, buddy. Come on. Sorry, I don't want to like pop it open now. Fragrance oil is all over the kitchen. <laughs> this was going great for the next six months. I like this smell though. Just don't spill one of the ones I don't like so much. <laughs> Do we have the onion scent? Oh, the onion scent. Yeah. How about the mustard scent? Mmm. <laughs> mustard. <laughs> that is chilly. <laughs> Now that one's changing a little, but not in a bad way. It's just, it's just, but it's not exactly the same as it was. Just the scent. Not it has, still hasn't uh, accelerated or anything. That's how I'm getting soap on my arm. I keep hitting the bucket with my arm. Move the bucket. I need the bucket there. Okay, should probably take this out. This would be Hawaiian sandalwood. Don't kick the camera. Sorry. Got our six year old in here. She is very interested and we don't like to kick the kids out of the house, you know. It's their home too. So far I have had no ricing whatsoever and no accelerating. So that's awesome. Now that's only within this certain couple of minutes. But if you, I, I'm not worried about ones that thicken up quickly. What I get more worried about are the ones that turn to pudding or a stick within seconds of adding it. I can't see which ones I got here. This one I didn't get. Oh, Chicago um, looks so plastic. <laughs> Black Orchid Lily is the next one. It's a nice floral. I don't really remember exactly what that one smells like. I'll let you know in just a second. This one's stuck. This is new. It may not open me. 
too good for you. Master? Honey. You gotta be quiet, okay? Thank you. All right, this one. It's really light. It's like a light, a light powdery floral. Very nice. like that one discolored us a little yellowy on the colors. Um, nothing crazy, but it was a little bit yellower, the fragrance oil, so that's to be expected. Yeah, it's like a powdery floral. That's very nice. I like that. Okay, now we're doing, see, I can't pronounce this. What do you think? Scupper Nang, Nang wine? Scooper, Scooper Nang wine? I have no idea. It's kind of got a strawberry scent to it, I think. It's got some wine notes, but it doesn't smell really alcoholic or anything. It just kind of has a Maybe strawberry and peaches is what I'm smelling. So again, this one is uh, discoloring us a little bit just from the fragrance oil, like going a little yellow. Nothing that you couldn't work with, but just going more in a yellow than our base. Okay, next one here is Childhood. And this, to me, smells just like Johnson & Johnson's Yellow Baby Shampoo, which I've been looking for, so I'm very excited to try well, this. I was thinking chalkboard and erasers. Chalkboard and erasers, no. <laughs> what kind of childhood did you have? One more I went to school. <laughs> Alright, so here's our childhood one. And yeah, oh, I like that. It's like a soft... Well, it smells like Johnson's baby shampoo. I got a hint of baby powder in there. Yeah, well, I think Johnson's baby shampoo, the yellow one, has kind of like that baby powder smell. Oh, that smells really good. It's, not, it's like the essence of baby, right? Yeah. Baby essence. <laughs> you guys sit still. You're making Daddy crazy. Keep knocking it on the table. He don't like that. We don't want you to get soap on you, sweetie. That's why you guys sit back, okay? Alright, and... So. Thanks. Okay. This one is the Honey Bee. This is the one I was not too crazy about. Um, just has... It, it has like a chemical-y smell in front of the honey. What do you think? Um. Not your favorite? When I first opened it, it kind of smelled like rose. Mm -hmm. Once it breathes a little, it's changing. So I think it's really going to change in the soap. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, it's just, it does smell like honey. You do get some honey, like a clover honey. So it, it probably will change. Alright, so far we have no ricing on any of these, no acceleration on any of them. They're all doing quite well. This one looks like it might discolor a little bit. I'm just looking at, but you know, we never know. We'll see once they're completely done. But there's honeybee. Like I said, it's, it's see, I'm getting more honey now that it's in the sub. Yeah, I thought it might morph a little bit. Did she fall over? Okay, and this is Tibetan white tea. I don't know how everything goes bumping at night with this place. Crazy kids. Oops. Went a tad over on that one. Oh, I like that. Yeah? I'm not going to be able to smell anything for a week. I know. I should stop sniffing all of them. Well, wait till they're in the soap and then smell it off the cup. Because you can bring me a new cup and then take the old one. And that way I don't have to keep reaching over there. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> I just want to dip soap in there. No, I don't either. 
Save. All right, so Tibetan white tea. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Every time I go to get a stick, I reach over there, and then I don't do it. Yep, yeah, still staying nice area. and loose. Nope, don't with that. Thank you. Ooh, See that that, that has black tea notes in it. That smells really good. What is that? Tibetan white tea. Oh, yeah, very yeah. nice. Okay, this is green tea and ginger. Here you go. A tree. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Almost like a, a maple tree, like if you go in the forest with maple trees. Mm. I really like it. Does that make any sense? Yeah. You check. Like over to church where they got the, all the big maple trees? Yeah. I smell. It's definitely got some white tea. No, or maybe. No, green tea. Reminds me of the lemongrass and green tea we have. Yeah, it's similar, but it's but got it's a, got a, a it's note that, in Well, the it's that rooty note of the ginger, yeah. I think. That That's very it nice. It really makes it. Okay, yet another one. No ricing, no nothing. Let's see what we got here now. Lavender and ginger. Oh, I'm totally reaching across the whole camera. Sorry, everyone. Oh, no, no, no. It's this one right here. I need it. Sorry. Just going to open them <laughs> Right now! No waiting. This one's stuck. There it goes. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. It's okay, I just got it in there. Alright, so this is our lavender and ginger. And I will be super excited if this does not accelerate because I have had Wow, that smells really good. You know what that smells like? It's like um, a lavender type of shampoo. Like, I'm really getting, like, shampoo. That even smells more like that Johnson's Baby Shampoo, I think. Like the lavender one they have. Oh, I love that. You gotta smell this one. What is that? Lavender ginger. And no acceleration, folks. Doesn't look like it's coloring either. Did I finish this tray then? No. No? That's awesome. Oh, sorry, I didn't see those. I was trying to plan ahead, but instead everybody just gets to see my arm a hundred times. <laughs> Alright, this is called Big Sur. It's like a tree, woodsy fragrance. John Wayne, maybe? John Wayne? Yeah. Is there a movie called Big Sur? No. Oh. Just like what? Man, I like this. Yeah, when I smelled that one, I knew you would like that. Oh. We're making the... Uh, or a biggie size of this. I don't care if it hurts. <laughs> you don't care who likes it or what it does. I want some. Oh, okay. I want a shave soap and a, maybe not, not a beer soap, maybe an olive oil. So we'll just go ahead and order that tomorrow. Yeah. So. Oh, that is nice. It's like a light foresty fragrance, like what is it? cedar. Yeah, that's it, the cedar I've been looking for. It does. It has cedar notes in it. It's nice. Maybe some sandalwood. Mm-hmm. Cedar and sandalwood. That's the cedar. I'm, I'm not sure for. what all notes are in all of these. Um, if you guys want to know exacts, I would look um, at sopalooza.com and see what they list because I'm not sure. I'm just telling you what I'm smelling right off the bat. Yeah, that definitely has a lot of cedar wood in it. I can smell that. That smells really good. This one? Nope. Sorry. This one. Okay. This is raspberry patchouli. This is one I love. Thank it changes you. when it gets a little air. Does it? Mm -hmm. Do you smell patchouli? I didn't smell any patchouli. I smelled it when I first opened it. I smelled really strong patchouli. Mm -hmm. Almost like an incense store. Like, you know what I mean? Shop? Yeah. And then, uh, it mellows a little bit once it gets some air to it. Oh yeah, you can smell the patchouli, but it's more of like a, just a nice back note. Yeah, it's not like, oh. It's not like an in-your-face patchouli. 
and I don't really like patchouli at all. So I think it's a nice supporting nice. fragrance. Yeah, it, it it makes the raspberry it makes the raspberry more sophisticated, and it's not a candy raspberry then. It's just oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is nice too. It was more like in the lemongrass family, I think. I can't take this yet. I didn't do this yet. You're getting oh, out of me. <laughs> sorry. All right, I'm this is uh, Bamboo Zen Tea. Hmm. Yeah, I really like that. He likes all the green fragrances and water fragrances. That's his cup of tea. And cedar. Yeah, and cedar. Although you're not really big on the woodsy fragrances, just the cedar. Yeah, it was just because I had cedar trees growing around my house when I grew up. Mm -hmm. It just really reminds me of home. The same thing I like the lilac. Yeah. yeah I don't want to smell it like though, but I yeah. love to smell it. <laughs> he was like, you got to make lilac soap. I love the smell of lilac. So I made it, and then I was like, oh, you want some? He's like, no, I don't want to smell like that. I just want to smell the bar soap. I don't want to wash with purple soap either. <laughs> oh, I will if that's what's in the bathroom, I guess. I don't know if I love that one. It's definitely very clean. I kind of get some, like an orange, but I don't smell any tea. Just the bamboo zen? Yeah. But it, it smells good. It's, amazing. it's just not my favorite. Amazing. It's just, that's not my type of fragrance, but it does smell good. I'm not knocking the fragrance. I'm just saying. The this one's done. Can I take this? Yep. Okay. The tray's done now. This is uh, Gentleman's Bay Rum. You don't need no stinking gloves. Yeah, he told me that tonight after I take my shower. <laughs> what do you smell like a lot? Alright. Come on. I'm the folks are waiting. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Gentlemen, Yeah, this is, I like this one. This yeah. is like, uh, if you watch one of the other videos when I was introducing that we were going to do this, um, then you would see that this is the first uh, Bay Rum that I found that I'm hoping works in the soap because we had a Bay Rum and we sold so much of it and then the fragrance changed on the second bottle I bought and it does not work with my recipe and I cannot get it to stick in the soap. It leaves, it just seeps out of my soap. I cannot get it to work. Um, and I was so sad because it was, smelled so good. So, but this one, I think that's a dead, oh my gosh. That smells so yeah, good. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Smell that. That's awesome sauce right there. Another shave soap for coming up. Yep. Um, and that did not rice, and it did not accelerate, and it is awesome. And hopefully it just doesn't float to the top, and we'll be all set. Yeah. This is passionate pomegranate. This has like a candy smell to me. What is that one? It's a passionate pomegranate. Oh. <laughs> or are you opening the one I'm talking about? That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, it has like a thank you, like a candy smell. Kind of, I don't know. Once again, though, the more air it gets, it, it starts changing. Oh yeah, for sure. All fragrances. That's why I, I never recommend anybody judge a fragrance by the smell out of the bottle. I mean, sometimes it'll stay exactly the same, but a lot of times even just the air hitting it changes it completely. It's just to breathe, like a good wine. Mm-hmm. Not that great wine, but. <laughs> but if you did, you know. That's what you I do. I don't always drink wine, but if I did, it'd be, I don't know, lost my sense. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's kind of like uh, I get raspberry and pomegranate. I definitely get some pomegranate in there because it's like a, a deeper, maybe some black raspberry. I don't really get candy, though. It smells like fresh berries. All right, and this is blue chamomile. This one, if I remember correctly, I really liked when I... Oh, thank you. Well, I'm going to smell like blue chamomile all day today, so that's awesome. I'm glad I like this one. <laughs> oh, that's got a really fresh, herby smell. Yeah. Well, oh, chamomile. It, it smells good, though. I like it. it. You know what? I will tell you. What I don't know what it is, but something in this reminds me of my childhood. This takes me somewhere. And I've been trying since I got it in. I cannot place it. Your mom's a big tea drinker. Maybe she always drinks candy. No. It, well, she did, but I don't think that's what it is. I, it's like I feel like I'm five when I smell this. I don't know what it is in there that I'm sm Like, I can't place the memory, but it's my childhood in a soap. Oh, scents do really bring you back to memory. They say oh, for it's sure. One of the best tie I'm just saying, like, normally when I get that, like, I, I open, I was popping the 
bubbles that they sent me in one of my packages, like the big air pocket bubbles. And the air hit me in the face, and it took me back to the zoo when I was a kid. And it wasn't like the gross zoo, but it was just, <laughs> it just happened to be the smell I got. And I could see right where I was. But with that one, I totally, I'm back in my childhood, but I cannot place it. All right, this one is called Conch Island. And if we take this one, I can definitely tell you that name will change. <laughs> that's, that's a funny one for me. I know what a conch is, but it just, it's too close to other words, so we're not going to be using that name. <laughs> This woman, seriously, she did a great job testing all her fragrances because they are working wonderfully. Just remember, if we make any of these into bigger loads, we need to keep the um, temperature around 85 degrees for the whole thing. Because that's what this is at, and it's staying lovely and loose. Now this one I get flowers, like plumeria, and... Um, a little bit of fruit in the back, but mostly I'm getting a lot of plumeria. That smells really nice. It actually reminds me of our um, of our Polynesian sunset. Mm -hmm. cup, this one. All right, this is Black Mission Fig. They say this one. Uh, guys really like the smell of fig. So we'll see if you like this one. My nose is gone. Is it? I should have took out some coffee beans. Thought about it. Sorry, we're only on pretty good 74. Ooh! Somebody fell. You wanna go check? Yeah. Hey? Okay. She's okay? Yeah. Okay, no jumping off your ladder. Not just a random la ladder in their room, folks. It's, it's actually on their bed, you know, like a bunk bed. So, just saying. <laughs> they don't just have a random ladder in their room. Well, climb up the wall, okay? Climb up the ladder. There's coffee in the cabinet up there. I, I need some. Okay, now this one, I will say, is thickening up a little. I'm not sure if it's my base thickening up, because I know that's getting thicker. I that, need coffee. That could be just what it is. But I Get noticed this one. Stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so this one, you know, it's not, it's not thickening up. This is nice. I guess my recipe start is starting to thicken up a little. I like that. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of got a, a fruit note to it, but I can see that being a dude fragrance. Yeah. Maybe. I don't not know. Your, not your favorite? You know me, though. Okay, this is like called oil, um, Inishmore. I think it's supposed to be woodsy. I don't remember. Or is it a water? It's kind of peppery and watery. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> you got too many fragrances going on here. Oh, did you splash yourself in the face? No, I just got a lot of fragrances up my nose right uh. now. You know how it is. You smell like... Oh, yeah. That's why I'm trying to stay back from it. That's why I keep telling you, stop smelling it out of the container. <laughs> But they smell so good. I know, but smell it out of the cup because then it's not so strong because it's been diluted. Okay, this. It. I don't know what I smell. Kind of watery. Pepper though. Maybe a little pepper. I don't, know, I don't get a ton of pepper. Kind of like old spice a little bit. Yeah. Now this one is thickening up quickly. Look at that. So this one moves fast. Just saying. You may want to stir your batch a little. No, I just did. Oh. That it ain't like that. So I mean. It's doable, but this one moves quicker, so I'm just noting that, if you can see. See how it's not even sitting flat? So, there's that one. Yeah, and I did it again, but that's awesome. Oh, yeah, I knew you'd like that. This pineapple crush. Thank you. I love pineapple, but I we have our one of our best sellers is our pineapple whip soap. Um, it, it is lovely. Everybody loves it who's tried it. But I wanted to do a pineapple in a cold process. And the pineapple I have for the Mountain Pour Soap in the Dole Whip, or the Pineapple Whip, um, it, it won't hold up to cold process soap. So, 
I've been looking for another pineapple so we could remake that scent but in cold process. So that's lovely. It's very, very tropical pineapple. I like that hair smell. Yeah, I, I really like that pineapple. It's got like a, I want to say a buttery note, but not really butter, but rich. Ooh. Maybe is the word I'm looking for. Sorry. You okay, this is, yeah, it smells kind of, it kind of smells like a, a Dole Whip. Don't mm. you? Yeah. Okay, this is fresh mango. Now, out of the bottle, I wasn't crazy about this one, but I'm hoping it smells a little, it's not that it was bad, I just, I was really expecting something awesome, and it wasn't oh, I like, like it. yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's nice, but I don't think it's anything spectacular, but I think it will smell, oh, you know what, no, now let's get air. Ooh, I love that. Okay, never yeah, mind. This is cheesy. Yeah, I know. That one is thick, 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 thick. Not to solve. Yeah, well, that's why I'm saying it on video, so I can go back and be like, oh, <laughs> don't buy that one. <laughs> This smells good. Oh yeah, it smells good, but it's just like, is it, does it smell good enough to deal with the issues of it? You want to grab another cup out? I grab another one. Oh. I Holy confused shoes. him. Alright, so let's smell it again. Oh, in there? It's got a, a bit of a bubblegum smell to me, but uh, nice and sweet and mango, and it worked really wonderfully in there. Oh, this smells like... Alright, the next one is lemongrass sage. Yeah, I really like that. So it's kind of herbly. I don't know if I mentioned it, but for anybody who's wondering, we're doing between um, 0.65 and 0.9, um, or 0.7.9 of soap in here on each one to test these. So if you want to do your own testing, I already did the math. Um, I think 0.85 is probably exactly to for our fragrance load that we usually do. We usually do 0.85%. Uh, percent. So My fingers are going to smell like flowers for the next week. That's nice. We're going to Cabela's after this, so that should be funny. <laughs> hey guys, I smell like flowers. All right, so this definitely did beautifully. It actually stopped the the seizing, like it, it loosened this one. I really like that Ooh. fragrance. Isn't that nice? That is nice. That smells like a clean shampoo, but with it's, sage in the back now. It's got the ozone. It's got the, oh yeah, that's nice. That's beautiful. Love that. That might be another keeper for sure. This is my next one? Yep. Uh, this is Catalina Sea Petals. I don't know what sea petals are. But... Ocean flower? Maybe. Seaweed? <laughs> it smells right. good. I think it smells flowery. Definitely. It smells kind of like, um... It, it smells really good, but it's... I don't know how to explain it. it it's good. Ooh! Isn't that nice? It's a sweet flower. It's like Pomeria. But, yeah. but without the peppery notes. It, it's similar, but it's way different. It's more adult than Pomeria. Because with Pomeria, oh, you could get away no. with... As like, I'm almost getting marshmallow in there. Like Pomeria, vanilla you, notes, maybe. You could like, use, make like a kid's soap out of Pomeria, almost. Ooh, ooh, though, but I, I think I'm racing a little. Wait, let me see. See, look at... What is that? That might... You know what? I had a flake asteric in my soap before that probably just fell down in there. Because I don't see any other ones. Oh, yes, I do. That's racing. Yeah, it's ricing just a little bit. So this one is a ricer. Just putting it out there. So the Catalina Sea Petals. That rice dummy. It it's it's still smells that. really good though. Yeah. I don't care. Well, if I was stick blending, I very well may have been able to stick blend that out, but I'm not. Uh, this is, I can't read my own writing. What is it? Caribbean say? Blue. Caribbean Blue. Okay. Another one we're going to have to buy already, I can tell you. Thank you. Alright. This one, let's take a sniff. Now you love a lot of water, huh? That's, yeah. Awesome. This is a water smell. Isn't for nice? sure. Yeah, but it's it's got some sweet notes. I'm not exactly sure. My nose is getting full here, but 
Oh, it's beautiful. That's for sure. I really I like it. I can't smell the coffee anymore. <laughs> I know. So, but that didn't rice or anything. It looks great. No discoloration. Can I have a cup? This is, what is it? Renouk Rapids? Roanoke. Roanoke Rapids? Yeah. Sorry, it might rain a little blurry on the cup. Okay. Soap batter's getting a little thicker here, so I'm going to try and go. speed things along. Four left? After this. Oh, ow! Sorry. No, ow. You didn't really hurt me. <laughs> you just got fragrance oil in my eyeball. <laughs> Hope you like growing oak. Really smell like it. Alright, let's see what this one does. So, so far out of all these, we've had one that kind of seized up on us. Um, or moved really, really fast. And then one that riced so far. So, not bad. We're doing good so far. And this, it's kind of Irish spring. Yeah. Yeah, here, smell. Irish spring. I, I really like it, actually. Yeah, I like it, too. That's what I'm getting, though. It's like an Irish spring, but it, but in a different way. But that's the closest thing I could compare it to. It smells like soap. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, because it smells like Irish spring. I need the cup first. This is the one you've been waiting for. Ooh, Cuban coffee bean. I have been looking for a coffee scent that not only doesn't discolor too badly, but also stays. Because coffee scents are really hard to get to stick in your soap. Because once they gel, a lot of times they just fade out. And so I'm hoping this will stay. Because I have these ideas for this coffee soap that would be so awesome. Oh, that smells like a fresh brewed cup of coffee. That is amazing. If that does not fade, that is amazing. Would be Folgers in your tub? Yeah. Oh, that's what <laughs> Folgers in your tub. <laughs> <laughs> Shower, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we should make a bath bomb called Folgers in your tub. <laughs> Put coffee grounds in it. <laughs> <laughs> floating in the bathtub. The people we get now, your skin will be all dark. <laughs> Dye your skin. It's a natural tanning thing. Well, this works beautifully. It didn't... Oh, I love this. I hope it stays. I hope this does not fade, because if it doesn't fade, that's my coffee scent I've been looking for. Next cup. Garden Splendor. No, Gardenia Splendor. Oh, well, learn, to, actually read learn to read. Well, you know what? It's on small writing, and... <laughs> it's been, like, blurred by all the fragrance that fell on it. All right, the second to last one, right? Nope, two more. Oh, never mind. Forget what I said. Forget her. Gardenia Splendor. Now this went a little more yellow, but the fragrance oil was very yellow, so it didn't. It, I don't think it's going to discolor to a brown, but it's discoloring to a slight yellow, but totally workable for sure. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice gardenia. It's just a, it smells no, like a gardenia, to be completely honest. Very fresh, very, very floral. So if you Portis, like florals, you'll love that. Or just one light. Why? Because it's there. I oh, it's, spilled some of this. You apple. spilled some? Okay. Can I have a cup? All right, this is Mandalay Rain. as full as the other ones either so well we'll just remember for mandalay rain if it's a little light it's because mm -hmm. we didn't have light. as much fragrance to put in i'm more looking to see what it does though more than anything all right so it looks good i don't see any rising doesn't seem to be accelerating No discoloration. Try to blend this in as well as, as well as I can with a popsicle stick. But so we might have if it discolors, we might have some little lines of discoloration if it's not mixed in all the way. But I think I'm getting it in there good. And this one, not not um, accelerating at all. 
working really well. This is Mandalay Rain. And, ooh, it's a nice flush, flush, <laughs> a nice fresh water scent. I like that. And is this the last one? Mm -hmm. And our last one is Big Apple. I know he's been waiting for this because this is another one where we're having trouble with our scents fading out on us, so. Oh, this smells good, good, good. He loves apple scents. So, this I bought for him to see if we could find a good apple one for him. Oh, that's a nice clear fragrance oil, too. So hopefully, because all the apple ones I've done have this color, too. Like, they go kind of a tan, not, not horribly this color, but this really smells like fresh apples. So being that it doesn't have any other scents to it, I don't think it'll be a problem. Alright, let's smell it. Oh yeah. I can even it's like a crisp apple, like you can smell the skin. It's nice. It just smells like apple. It doesn't have any other scents in there. Um, it's thickening a little bit, but that could be because we're getting towards the end here. Um, I'd say work faster with that one, but definitely not anything you have to freak out about. Just don't do some crazy design. But yeah, it smells good. All right, guys, that was it. We did all. We did all 32 fragrances. Sorry, I have people everywhere. Um, we did all 32 fragrances, so we're going to uh, pop these in the oven and um, just oven process them to make sure they gel. Um, and then we will let you know the results uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. Some of these you can tell, like the you know they're they're already solid. So I mean, some of them are going to move a little faster than others, but. Definitely the only ones we had that like really moved was the Inishmore, which you can see, and that's already warm on the side of the cups. It's already gelling. So that one went really fast. And then what was the one that, that riced? Was it the mango? Um, I don't remember. Oh, no, the sea petals, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the sea petals were riced, and you can see little little lumps in there. But, uh, again, if I was stick blending it, it very well might have come out. I don't know. But, anyway. So... If you uh, don't want to miss the outcome of this, make sure you subscribe to our page so that you won't miss it. And uh, leave comments on any of these if you've tried them or if you like which ones you like or whatever. Um, you can also talk to us on Facebook. We're on there quite a bit. So, uh, and that's at www.facebook.com slash ivycoreen. It's I-V-Y-C-O-R-E-E-N. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Awesome.